Hi, this is Bob Scott. Welcome to our Acumatica snapshot. Today we're doing Acumatica dashboard. Setting a default user dashboard. In Acumatica, when you log in, a user can have a default dashboard assigned to them. When the user logs in, the dashboard that's assigned to them will appear. To set the default dashboard for a user, click on the, in the upper right screen, the user profile. On the home page of the user profile, under general information, select the appropriate dashboard. Save the profile information. Once you sign out and sign back in, then the default dashboard will appear. Navigating dashboards. In a dashboard, a user has control over what data they see. These are called tiles. Tiles show summarized data of information. If a user clicks on the tile, the underlying data below them will appear. In this case, if I wanted to see overdue bills, I can click on that and it will show all 36 of the overdue bills. Likewise on graphs, if you navigate over a graph and hover over data points on the graph, information will show regarding the data points on the graph. If you click on the title of the graph, you can drill into the underlying data that is represented in the graph. Elements of a dashboard. Dashboards are comprised of elements. The elements of Acumatica dashboards are widgets, graphs, data tables, and wikis. On this graph, we've got tiles and we've got graphs. Tiles represent a summarized view of the data and can give a user a quick, hot link into important metrics that the user might consider important in their everyday business life. Graphs take data, underlying data, and graph it in a form that is usable Wikis are HTML that perform hot button links into certain data screens in Acumatica. Data tables expose the underlying data immediately on the screen to an Acumatica user. You can click into a data table to gain access to the underlying data and drill down into specific data. Creating a new dashboard from scratch. To create a new dashboard in Acumatica, a user, given the right privileges, can navigate to system, customization, and then to dashboards. It can provide a name for the dashboard. And a location for where the dashboard will reside in the Acumatica system. In this case, I'm going to organize my dashboards all in one location. I assign a user role for a user that can access and edit the dashboard. In this case, I'm gonna select administrator. I also allow users to personalize their own copy of the dashboard, and if I want the dashboard to be shown on the mobile device. Once the dashboard has been created, you can access the dashboard by clicking on the View button. The View button, in this case, opens up a empty dashboard that has yet to be filled with elements of a dashboard. 
by clicking on design, I can add new widgets. In this case, I'm going to add a tile. Tiles are called scorecard KPIs when designing a dashboard. I select the inquiry screen within Acumatica. In this case, I'm going to select a generic inquiry that has been previously built. This tile is going to show us the current cache position. So I selected a generic inquiry called cache by period. I can select inquiry parameters that allow me to limit what data I see. And I can share and build filter settings as well. In this case, I'm telling it to summarize my cash accounts on the ending balance and to give me a sum of that. I can change the color of the tile according to these parameters. I can assign an icon to it, and I can give it a caption. In this case, I'll call it cache on hand. By clicking finish, you can see that I've got a new tile. Now, the tile is a little large, so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. By clicking on the design mode again, I take it out of design mode, and you can see that I have a tile. Clicking on the tile exposes the underlying data below it. To create a graph, I can click back on design, create a new widget, and say that I want to create a chart. and I select my inquiry screen. The inquiry screen is a previously developed generic inquiry within Acumatica. Under chart settings, I can select the type and nature of the chart that I want to see. In this case, I want to choose a line chart. For the legend of the chart, I'm going to choose the fiscal period. I want to show maximum of 12 months. On the legend, I'm going to build a financial period start date. The value that it's going to total is going to be called ending balance. By clicking the finish button, my graph will appear. Now, the graph looks a little lopsided, but I can change the position and the size of the graph simply by dragging it down to give me my graph. To add a data table to a new dashboard, Create a widget that's a data table. The data table that I'm going to select is a previously designed generic inquiry. I only want certain data to appear, so I'll remove some data from my generic inquiry. I can give my widget a caption.
and my data table disappears. By clicking the design button off, I can drill into my underlying data.